Hey, Bart here with Cycling Strong. I'm here with Dave. We've got a whole series of things from bike fit to nutrition questions, all sorts of things I'm asking him right now. So uh, check those out. And if you have any questions, make sure you make the comments below so we can get to you in any one of these videos that you're uh, wanting information on. Uh, so my next question is, is that you get to train a lot of different athletes. And I know there's different uh, programs that you have for your athletes, things to that nature. So when you're looking at an athlete's profile and you're looking at the workouts they're doing, how much feedback do you give back to your athletes or how much education do you try to give them so they know what path they're on or how do you handle that kind of stuff? Sure. Uh, some athletes really want to have an understanding of why they're doing a particular workout, right. what it means, what it means when they hit it, what it means when they hit it perfect, yeah. uh, when it's time to uh, bump their power up. Mm -hmm. Other athletes just want, they want the plan and right. they want to execute and yeah. hopefully they'll upload their file because right. they're pretty time constrained. Right. Uh, and so it, it depends individually on the athlete mm -hmm. uh, what they want out of the program mm -hmm. and I, I learned that with some initial interaction mm -hmm. as well as questions that come up. Right. Uh, but again, when I see I see training files coming in for each person mm -hmm. and I take a look and I might have, I might see something that just looks crazy. Right. You know, they're supposed to do a tempo interval and they're down in endurance the whole time. Right. Or they're, you know, they're pinning it up in threshold and, right. I, and I think, oh yeah, that route, oh, they're chasing the Strava segment. <laughs> All right. You know, but I definitely want to educate people that we're putting a long range structure together. Yeah. We set out with a, with a long range architecture of up to nine months to a year. Right. And just so we have an idea of where we're headed. We've yep. got goals. Yep. Let's set them down in writing yep. so that we can focus on them. But then we take it further and we start breaking those long ranges down into shorter blocks. Mm -hmm. And so each block has a purpose yep. towards reaching that goal out here. And so if we accelerate some of those blocks, yep. we may not be ready out here or we may fatigue ourselves right. too soon. And so, you know, we can make adjustments mm -hmm. like, you know, if you, if you called up and said, hey, my buddies want to do a five day trip to Moab and right. we're going to, we want to hit 50 miles a day. Right. And I think, ah, oh, hmm, that might not be the ideal. Right. And so I'll let you know that there's a sacrifice maybe in May that you, right. that you might be a little bit too fatigued from doing that much work in April. Right. But we can make adjustments right. and plug in some extra recovery. So it, it's a dynamic situation where, right. you know, maybe if you're doing that one week before Leadville, I would be, yeah, uh, yeah. no, that's not going to work so great. Yeah. But there, in most situations, we can work around it and, and make adjustments and kind of follow, follow the training effort and make sure that we get ourselves back on track as soon as possible, but still have a good time because yeah. that's why we're all out here. Exactly. So one thing I want to wrap on that is when I was doing my research on Dave, I really found that he was very personable with his athletes and he not only, I mean, he probably cares about them more than most coaches. I don't know how to say that, but he, he just really does care and he really looks out for them. So when I started training with him, there was a couple things that I also liked too was, is that trains on comp trainers, really big into power. And the reason I like the comp trainer aspect of it is, is because, and it doesn't have to be a comp trainer, but something power wise that you're training on is that when I get my workouts from him, when you see the setup that he does, I can't fail on my workouts. And so what I love the most about his system is, is that if I follow his system and I do him hundred percent what he asked me to do and I fail, then I can blame Dave. <laughs> I mean, he gives me that, that capability. But if I don't follow the system, he'll know and I know, and he makes it to where I can follow that system. Like there's no way I can cheat the system or I got questions because of the way that he delivers the files to you. And that's, that meant a lot to me because I've had coaches that say, you know, train in this zone, do this zone, do that. I go out there and I'm like, okay, this workout is really confusing to me. Like I don't understand everything. They get the file, then it's like a lot of back and forth time to try to understand workouts instead of just with me, I don't have a lot of time, you know, getting my workout done and then go and have them the fun that I want to or whatever it may be. So um, I appreciate the fact that when you're with a coach, they do care about you. Uh, most of you know that I have a son that cycles. I mean, he cares about him. He cares about the things that are going on in my life, the events I've got coming up. 
I had to go to a trip to Hawaii. I didn't, I told him actually I had days off that time period. He saw that I had my bike going with me, instantly adjusted my <laughs> schedule for me, which was awesome. You know, I mean, how many people are paying attention to what you're doing, which was nice for me. It was just like, wow, you know, he is seeing what I'm doing and does care. So make sure you find a coach that you can relate to, cares about what you're doing, but most of all gets those, the training plan so you can be successful with what you're doing. And that's why I asked that question because I know what Dave's like, but, but those of you out there that are re researching for a coach or looking for one, just make sure it's the right coach and that you've got that type of relationship. So with that, keep cycling strong. If you have any questions, ask them below. Uh, check out Plan 7 Coaching. If you want a great coach, Dave's there, uh, hire him. I would encourage you to do that and uh, put him to effort for you. So we'll talk soon.